Now the anecdote be, um, when I was at the hotel that my auntie had booked me, my auntie and my uncle Pete, who's a bit of a ladies' man at times, or certainly not to see himself as that, um, we were having a meal and the, the, the waitress for us was a very pretty blonde girl. And, uh, he kept pointing her out to me, going, "Oh, Mike, you know, you wanna, <coughs> you wanna chat to her, you wanna, you wanna say, say this and say that." And I was like, "Well, you know, it's a little bit creepy." You know, yeah, she's very pretty, but you know, I'm not that great at talking to the ladies in general. And uh, he's like, "Oh, you know, they, they love taking comments." And he was, I mean, he's, he's about 49, 50 now, and he was like dropping her comments, going, "Oh, you look really lovely here." And for for a couple of hours, whenever she was coming over to us, he was saying really nice things to her. And, but then, then my auntie briefly spoke to her, and um, this uh, this young pretty girl mentioned that she was. Uh, oh yeah, well, uh, I'm still at six form at the minute, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I thought, yep, yeah, I know what's gonna happen now. So I looked at my uncle Pete, and he was he was looking at me going, the fuck, and I was like, yes, mate, that's why you don't just start blathering on at young women. He was gonna like turn around and just give you a wink and a knowing smile, like, "Yep, there's uh, another easy chicken there for you." <coughs> I was like, "Yes, yeah, she is very pretty, but uh, she's still six form, mate. She's half my yeah. age, pretty much. Uh, she's more than half your age." Yes, just a slight more. <laughs> let's right. let's do something a bit different. Let's do the town that we're about to go under well, okay the, the port area and see if we can catch a ferry somewhere so I thought he was going to say catch a fish catch a fish he bites a toe oh you ready oh that one uh, do you mean the one on the island yeah the big one all right oh, I'll still be able to make that well I'll go to the little compound on the outside with the blue roof and the okay. bronze tower. Yeah, it's um like I say there's a like I say there's a girl at work who's only eighteen who's very, very pretty and very, very personal personable, very nice girl, but I can't go near that shit to even make even the slightest uh comment on her appearance or anything like that unless her dress code is shit. You know, say like uniforms not tidy or some you're not wearing your name badge as well as far as I can go. It's not tight enough. Yes. Yeah, the 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 days of me just uh being able to mack in it with the chicks, like back in the court days. No. They're gone. Yeah, I think we have to just have to accept our age now and just be done with looking at them slightly. Unless they're particularly desiring of sugar daddy. <laughs> Unless they're begging for it. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. But if a certain lady wants a sugar daddy, then... Well, I'm, I'm a lower middle class sugar daddy, if that's what she wants. So I have no actual disposable income, but sure, let's go for it. I can buy you some nice things sometimes. <laughs> but I'll, I'll be wanting sex every weekend, at least. I'm going to need sex off you at least once. Don't tell me it's yes yeah, off the side of the map. Of course it is. <laughs> oh well, I know the ferries don't take us that far. No. That shooting is very close. I think it was coming from uh, these buildings to the northwest. Started raining now. You can hear the pitter patter. Pitter patter of tiny water droplets. Surprise, motherfucker! Do you want to surprise me? <laughs> Quite two times if you want that. What for my Uzi? Yeah, lovely. A suppressor as well, actually. If you got an Uzi. Oh yeah, I'll have that. I've got my. Vz. I've got my Uzi completely kitted out now. Good. 
Carter, Golf, Tango, Foxtrot, Oscar. Yeah, let's go and find ourselves a, a boat. Das boat. Oh, that'd be interesting. We could find uh, Das Unter Boot, that'd be nice. Das Unter Sea Boot. Oh, yes, Unter Sea Boot. Unter Boot. That's just underboat. <laughs> yes. Otherwise known as the hull. Yeah. <laughs> the underboat. <laughs> uh, I think there's a car over there. There's a wreck of a car. I mean, beyond the buildings. There's something suspiciously oh. sat oh, on the G. side of the road. Oh, yeah, let's look at you, AZ. Well, position to the end of the oh. bridge as well. Yeah, that's... Somebody's died Ominous. here. Ominous. 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 With, with an extra I in it. For extra ominicity. Ominicity. We are not just omnipotent, we are om... omnipotent. Omni omni ominous. <laughs> what? Are. How did we both get in at the opposite uh, sides of the vehicle? Uh, skill. Skills, mate. We, we did a Duke's brother through the windows. Yeah, we did. We have Duke brothers are at it again. Glitching through each other. Boss hogs on that trail. Oh, actually, uh, last night I watched uh, all of um, three billboards at Ebbing, Missouri. You heard of that? Uh, no, but it sounds fascinating. It, well, it's a nice story. Good story. About looking at billboards. Uh, well, billboards feature in it. No, the. Uh, oh, good. I don't want to be cheated. Out of my three billboards. It's, uh, Woody Harrison and Sam Rockwell are uh, cops. Uh, Sam Rockwell plays a racist, bigoted cop. Um, and I, I suppose he, he, he plays a bumbling, nerdy. No. What? No? no, Sam Rockwell's the. Racist, bigoted cop. No, I'm talking about Woody Harrelson. Is Woody Harrelson. No, he's more the the father figure. I suppose, oh, really? But the. Well, I think off to our off to our right. Oh, well, I was about to shoot. Go hit something with the first shot. Turn fire. Pretty sure I saw. Oh, it's flash of blood when I did that. Big tree! Where are they? Well, I have to say, hip firing with my. Uh, hip oh, it's beyond that tree! Yeah. Beyond that tree. Uh, almost had it. I can't. I can't shoot properly. My mouse <laughs> doesn't allow hip firing. It's awkward to have to. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Then. That bitch. the power of the Uaz there. Uaz. No, the film's about um, this woman whose daughter was uh, attacked and raped and killed. Um, the police, the local police chief, uh, couldn't find the culprit for it. Um, she's very bitter and angry about it all. So what she does is these these three billboards outside her house. She pays to have. Um, statements put up, put up on it like, um, you know, my daughter was raped and killed. The police didn't do nothing about it. What are you going to do about it, Chief? Whatever the guy's name was. Oh, and, it, um, oh we're out of fuel. Oh, I, I would, I would say, um, well, obviously, then the police did loads, then, because you just said like they didn't do <coughs> nothing. 
So that means they did something. But, uh, yeah, it, it's a story film. It's good, it's critically acclaimed and all that. I think I have vaguely heard of it. It's only a couple of years old. Um, came out to bigger claim than it did emerge. Guns. I need 5.56 ammo. Alright, I'll take the mutant then. Mutant. In fact, unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure that I heard that they're making a new stalker game. I've heard they're actually making a film. You know, you know, because obviously there's only like the, uh, the whatever it is, the the Rose. Russian or no, po Polish one. Well, is that, I think there is a Russian film called Stalker, which is based on the book A Roadside Picnic. Mm. Um, but no. there is like a, a Polish film which isn't called Stalker, but it was called Stalker over here. Yeah, so just cash in on it. Just to ca just to cash in on it. I do and remember a film being called Stalker. Like a bicycle. And it's stopping. Got one. Got his tire. Jammy bastard. Yeah. I think it's probably the first time I blew out a tyre. Just saw it exploding like a grey mist. That's what caused him to stop. Is he just gone or has he just stopped and coming uh, back? He could well be stopping and coming back. This guy didn't have much anyway. A bit more ammo, that's about it. Oh, something else is coming now, I think. I see a red flare just hanging in the air, not doing anything. <laughs> what do you expect it to do? Sing and dance. I expect it to drop. Gravity doesn't work that way. Good night. <laughs> it's not dropping. Whoop. Can't tell if that's at us or not. No. Well, it's not at me. Oh, they are at... Yep, yep. 40. Yep. I just saw one coming out of the building. It was behind the wall, though. What? What? I told my guy to lie down and he just stood up on, on top of some barrels or something. Exactly the time and the place for your... Oh yeah, I see him. Don't think he's seen us. He's Yeah, he's just... So. Him? Down. Stop. Get him. He's behind the hay bout. I can't see him. Got him. Yeah, you got him. Oh, I just got an achievement. Marksman expert. Ooh. Impressive. One of his mate. Is that you? Yeah, I have one bullet left in my VSS. His mate must be uh, down here as well, then. There's a jeep up on the hill at north, but it's carrying on going. Uh, we oh, we're outside. Move anyway. really bouncy, bouncy. Though we haven't actually got a vehicle now. Unless there's a gas can around here. Have I got one, actually? No, I don't. 
where we gotta go. Just see what you had. Is it ammo you're after? Yeah, I need nine mil. Uh, he's, he's got a DP-28 with loads of ammo. I'll take that over the scar. My footsteps are not. Couldn't tell. It seemed like my footsteps were um, delayed. I think I know right. something like that. Are they? Yeah, let's get out of here. Fight down by the seaside. Shields coming in. Shields up. It's up our asses in a minute. Close to the uh, to the white line. Earlier, like this first thing this morning, I uh, was putting sugar into the sugar bowl from the, from a bag. Uh, obviously, end up spilling a load on the uh, on the table as you on the counter as you do, and uh, decided I'm just going to make a load of white lines out of here and leave them there and see what the neighbours <laughs> think. Well, they're spying at me through the window. Assuming they do spy on you. Oh, I'm sure they do. Well, if they're anything, oh, there's a car at the top of the hill there. Coming this way. I was getting chased. I killed him, but he got yep. me. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. It was worth it. I, I saw that. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's got an eight times scope. What's he got an eight times scope with? Decent. I can't even put an eight times scope on this piece of shit. Oh well. Has he got a grenade? So I might as well uh, kill myself. Well, this will be my last round for the night, so. Yeah. Make the most of it. Alright then. It is watching me now, eh? Yes. Alright. Show your true skill and power. <laughs> it all goes wrong. It's hailing. You see the hail bouncing off the floor there? Hayley. Yeah. To some degree, it's nice that they've uh, animated that you can see it bouncing along like that on the ground. I can't see it bouncing along. It just seems to like be ab absorbed and assimilated by the ground. Yeah, no, for mine on hard surfaces, it bounces up. Stop and see that. I can't see any of this. I think you're lying. Oh. We seem to have stopped now anyway. <laughs> yes, you ass. <laughs> oh, right in the middle of this shit. Gonna get my ass killed in a minute.
nothing there, Craig. All is quiet. On the western front, which we're now on. Indeed. Never actually watched the film. Either version. I'm not sure I have either, actually. There's yeah, a buggy there's there, though, which. Yeah, there's a buggy there. there. See where though? Seems to be more direct west. There, there, there. It's actually in that must be in that building. Oh, I got perfect. Ah. God damn. You went off to the right there. Oh well. John McLean this shit. Get it with. Just get in there. Welcome to the party, pal. Keep on me until I just sit down and watch that film. But every time I try to I think I don't really need to. I I love this film but I don't need to watch it. It's a great film. I know that, but I don't need Die Hard 1 and 2, brilliant. Oh. Oh, oh he's on, on top. Wah, wah. Never mind, I got two kills on that, I'm happy enough.